folks, my first guest tonight is an actor and director you know from the Planet of the Apes films, Black Panther, and my personal favorite as Gollum in The Lord of the Rings. He now stars in The Batman. Our accounting friends at Wayne Enterprises are coming for breakfast. Here? Why? Because I couldn't get you to go there. I haven't got time for this. It's getting serious, Bruce. If this continues, it won't be long before you've nothing left. I don't care about that. Any of that. You don't care about your family's legacy? What I'm doing is my family's legacy. If I can't change things here, if I can't have an effect, I don't care what happens to me. That's what I'm afraid of. Alfred, stop. You're not my father. I'm well aware. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Andy Serkis. <laughs> I guess jig their way out. Of it. Thank you so much. I appreciate the extra well, effort. I'm a little exhausted now. I have to uh, say, but that's, you know, well, take it easy. Take, okay. I'll take it from here. I'll ask the questions. You just give me the answers. Um, uh, we just saw that clip. I just saw the new Batman. Uh -huh. I love your Alfred Pennyworth, as as I said just then. How is your how is your Alfred a little different than previous Alfred uh, Batman? relationships we've seen before? Well, Matt Reeves, who, who, who wrote and directed it, um, you know, wanted to create a sort of an emotional uh, relationship, but to a very deeply emotional one, which is sort of... They're, they're, they're not kind of on song as, as they normally are, Alfred and Batman going out and, and facing the foe together. They, he wanted to create tension in the relationship. Mm -hmm. So, so it's, we meet, it's, it's basically all around how we meet Batman, which is, which is Rob Pattinson's Bruce Wayne is very vulnerable and he's on a bit of a self-destructive mission and he's pushing at Alfred, as, as you saw from the clip. He's, he's sort of pushing him away and Alfred just feels like he's, he, can't, he can't connect with him. He'll never fill the void of being a father figure for him. So, so it's, it's, it's it's kind of really, it's shifting sands, their relationship. And, and without and, giving anything away, and I don't think I'm giving anything away by saying this, is that this isn't really an origin story. This is, it's in media rays. You're into them. He's already correct, Batman, and correct. you're already worried that he's out there being Batman. Absolutely. I mean, he's causing himself kind of, he's going out every night trying to be a vigilante, but he's, you know, he, he can see the self-destruct button going, and, 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 it's, and he sees the pain that he's in. There's so much anticipation for this movie right now that it's actually being used as a cudgel against the Russians by not playing it there. That's it's, right. it's one of the sanctions being That's leveled right. against Russia is they don't get this movie. That's Be right. Very powerful. You're very powerful position right well, now. Well, the movie's a powerful thing. It right? is a very powerful thing. You, you were in Black Panther, uh, uh, Venom, Let There Be Carnage, you, you directed. Um, uh, but now you're in the Batman. Okay, so legally I have to ask you... <laughs> Are you a Marvel guy or are you a DC oh, guy? And be very careful how you answer this I'm question. I'm just thinking who's going to employ me the most after this moment. Um, uh, well, I, I know, look, I love both worlds. <laughs> <laughs> Real courage. Because, Real courage. Yeah, because, because, look, I, I mean, I, I love the brightness and the boldness of Marvel stories. Look, they're yes. all mythologies, and I like the, I do like the darkness of DC. Well, they're kind they're of fairy stories modern... themselves, like Tolkien is. It, it's a correct. type of modern fairy story. It, it, they are, look, for our generation, or for the, you know, which is why they are so important as, you know, they, they, ta they touch on real human emotions, on, on world, you know, events, on, on what's going on around us. They are, they are great allegories for, for, for our times. You know, well, we, we human beings learn through storytelling. Correct. And and this is a common story for all of us to share, and it builds a sense of community. Yeah. And one of the greatest uh, communities that you've been part of is, of course, The Lord of the Rings, which just celebrated 20 years since it was first released. Absolutely. And I can't, and I can't believe <laughs> we did... We wanted to market. We wanted to market here uh, some way, and uh, Billy Boyd and Don Monahan called and said, "Hey, we want to do something with you." And we, so we came up with this rap song to it celebrate was... it, which you were part of. We have we have a little clip it right here. It was incredible. You did such Jim? a great job. Lord of the Rings is the number one trilly. Ask anybody and they know the dilly. From Jackson Billy to Manila Philly, ask all the fishes, the seaweed, the trilly. So there you are, <laughs> the fishes, the seaweed, the trilly. The official celebration right there. 
I said when you shot when you sent that shot in of you looking through that watery surface. Oh, that's great. What, what effect did we put on that? We said they said nothing. <laughs> that's what he sent. <laughs> so uh, a director to the end. What were you shooting this through a fish tank? Yeah, no, I just found a nice big bowl at home, filled it up with water, and I thought this has got to we've got to make something out of this. You know, it's a little snatch. So uh, so I just got my iPhone, stuck it underneath a bowl full of water, and jiggled it about a bit. You know, that's it. That was about the wow. that was about the size of it. Art on a dime with Andy Serkis. <laughs> We have to take a quick break, uh, but when we come back, Andy will show us how he did all the characters in his audiobook of The Lord of the Rings. Stick around.